So the original uh, Lucia took place in 18th century Scotland and the fall of the aristocracy. It was really important to the original opera is this notion that, that uh, the end of a glorious era in the Scottish aristocracy uh, brings with it all kinds of poverty and decay, using women to kind of regain a certain kind of power. I always try and set any opera that I do in the country that I'm putting it on in because I'm always trying to somehow speak to the audience that, that, that are watching it. Uh, in this case, uh, I was trying to find a place in America where I thought it reflects that sense of, of a bygone, glorious era immediately. Uh, the most evocative place that I thought of was the Rust Belt. We've chosen the kind of Rust Belt, sort of Michigan area. It's a place that has experienced great prosperity and wealth and has gone into a decline and there are real sort of struggles in the community and all that feels really ripe for the Lucia story, the human story. But also it's uh, an area which is you know, has so much iconography in terms of the kind of great American capitalist past. I think of sort of movie screens and, you know, the big industrial plants. I'm watching documentaries about the opioid crisis. I'm learning about the Flint water crisis. I'm learning about the steel industry and the automobile industry in Detroit. And also, you know, we understand a lot of this area to be very boarded up shut it down. So there's a lot of texture and it really allows you to sort of examine the story from a contemporary sense and uh, from a political, cultural sense. It, it's, it's just a whole different way of, of designing for the piece. We're trying to go through a, a trip through a whole town, get a sense of the whole world of this opera. So we have multi-locations. We have a, a house and a, a pharmacy, a supermarket, a a movie theatre, a waterworks. So the audience can make all sorts of associations all of a sudden uh, with what traditionally is set in one room for a, per act. Well, Simon and I have done both done quite a lot of work with Revolves and sort of understanding how it can sort of deliver theatrically. And you have this very sort of ever evolving sculptural sort of experience. So it feels like you're on this epic journey, I think, throughout the, the piece. Because we're looking at this on a large screen as well as on a large stage, it really means that it's constantly juggling between doing a sort of cinematic finish on some of these set pieces, as well as them also being able to read in a large opera house with a stage very far away. So there's a real mixture of the epic and the very small and, and, it's, and it's, it stands the test of time on, on, on the camera. <laughs> well, the video is about creating a sense of Lucia's perspective. A lot of the opera is a group of men singing about the future or the destiny of, of a woman that, who just kind of responds to what she's told to do. And certainly that kind of giving a voice to the person who has their voice stolen from them is really important in the production and really important politically. So we use the video because we can't change the libretto and we can't give her more scenes. But what we can do is make sure that people are seeing the parts of her personality that are not just from the male perspective. I came in, I explained the, the concept of the production, we started rehearsing it. We, we, We'd rehearsed the whole thing in three days. The singers were, they were just like, okay, great, great, fantastic. Oh, maybe I could do that there. Maybe I could do that there. Maybe I could do that there. They're just so inventive. When you're a director, you don't want your ideas to be the end of the process. You want it to be the catalyst, the beginning of the process. And if the work can't get better than the ideas that you've had, then it'll only be one person's imagination. But this production is the imagination of every single person that worked on it because everyone responded by saying, yes, and let me try this as well. And I think you can witness that in the kind of multifaceted, uh, myriad uh, details uh, of, 
of the work that we've all created. And that is very much the work of every single person that worked on it.